Here's an update on what is our first winter storm of the season. Um, according to the Weather Channel, it's a uh, winter storm Athena. This is a nor'easter. It's a small nor'easter. It's uh, clipping the downstate regions of New York, Long Island, uh, New Jersey, eastern New Jersey, mainly up through southeastern New England here. And this system is going to continue to ride up here to the north. And we're going to continue to see. You can see the expanses, the, com the comma shape. Because this is a very fast mover, so this will be in and out of here in no time. You can see the clouds expanding, and temperatures are being held down into the lower 30s and upper 20s here across Connecticut, Massachusetts, uh, parts of Long Island here, and down into New Jersey. We have uh, winter storm, or one of the weather advisories from Maine all the way down in through uh, eastern Pennsylvania and, and New Jersey. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, all these areas, and that's where we have a lot of the lower temperatures. You can see the low pressure here off the coast spinning around. This is Athena, and it's going to continue to move northeast. Um, so this will be out of the picture by this time tomorrow to be pulling away. Um, let's take a look at the winter radar. This is our winter overlay. We have the blue, which is heavy snow, moderate heavy snow. Uh, just near Albany, southeast of Albany, down through just east of the Catskills, over towards the White Mountains, north of Manchester here, northwest of Boston, uh, heading up towards Maine here. This is where we're going to get into some wintry conditions. But this this wintry precipitation should not make it uh, northwest of Scranton, northwest of Albany, northwest of Philadelphia. This thing's going to stay pretty much off the coast, and it really is moving fast. So. Luckily, things will be in and out of here really quickly. Let's take a look at wind gusts quickly. Wind gusts. We've got the highest wind gusts I can see reported out on Nantucket Island here. Upper 30s for wind gusts, 30 mile per hour, 40 mile per hour, just south of Boston. But th so far, the ha highest winds are staying pretty much offshore. And um, if we take a look at precipitation amounts, precipitation amounts, the heaviest amounts staying offshore as well here. Just offshore New Jersey and Cape Cod, and that will continue to head off to the northeast as Athena moves off to the northeast. Highest snowfall totals here. I'm sticking with one to three inches from down east Maine all the way down through um, south southeastern New England, uh, just northwest of New York City, uh, just no north of Philadelphia here, uh, eastern Pennsylvania. The Poconos, Catskills could pick up one to three inches down along the lower Hudson Valley here, one to three inches, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Some areas of Connecticut and central Massachusetts could get upwards of four to five inches near Worcester and down into uh, just northwest or Hartford, but that's about it. We're not looking for a blockbuster event, just enough to get the first snowfall of the season out there on the ground. And let's take a look at the rest of the nation here. Um, we've got uh, the rest of the nation featuring a cold front dropping down through the northwest here, but not much colder, 50s across this area. Southwest is basking in warmth and so is the southern states here, 60s and 70s along the Gulf Coast. Very nice. And let's take a look at the 500 mil bar overlay. There's going to be this big huge ridge that's coming from the west moving towards the east here. And this is going to make the huge warm up. Look at these temperatures by early next week. These are 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. This is pushing 60 in many areas, 60 to 65 in some of you in these northern areas in the northeastern United States and across the plains. And we're going to see a big trough developing here in the west. That means a lot of storminess. Let's take a look at the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation. This really sums it up. We're going, po we're slowly inching positive here, which means the warm-up. Um, a, a more positive North Atlantic Oscillation means less winter storms, less snow. And that's what we're going to see the next several weeks. And I will have a, my winter weather outlook that will be posted sometime in the next two weeks. I'm meteorologist Mark Mullar. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, we're Meteomark. Um, I have a website, Meteomark.com, and here's the four-day forecast for my region, which includes my hometown from Binghamton to Elmira, and all points in between in the northern tier of Pennsylvania. 